Another instrument that we tend to gravitate towards a lot is the English horn. Um, nothing has rivaled the English horn that VSL has made, in my opinion, because it actually sounds like an English horn. There's something about, again, the space, which is really um, incredible and rich. Um, but it, again, you can really hear the reed, you can hear the instrument. Um, it has the artifacts of being an English horn. Um, it's charismatic, it's a little bit strident when you want it to be, um, but it also still has a very warm sound that you want if it's if you want to use it as a solo instrument. Um, so that's one that we, we use a lot. Um, also, the VSL horn solo is something that um, in my opinion, is very different from a lot of the other horn solos that are out there, which is why we continue to use it. There's a lot of range and color in the samples. Um, that's how they're programmed. Um, and particularly in the brass, I love that it can get really strident. I feel like in a lot of horn solos, they can sound realistic, but it's all this very round, warm tone. And I feel like the French horn is kind of one of those instruments that has this enormous spectrum of sound and color. Um, so sometimes, you know, you don't always want that warm sound. Obviously on some horn solos, it's lovely to have that, but I actually personally love that this sample can get really brassy and you can kind of hear a lot of the elements of the instrument itself. The, the range of the tone is is really um, wonderful and it's not something that we found in any other instrument. It sounds probably the most realistic because of that. Um, so that's definitely something that we continue to use and have in our arsenal as composers, especially here at Wavecrest Music. There are plenty of other instruments that we continue to use from VSL, especially some of their newly released libraries, um, which were recorded at the Synchron stage. Um, their new Synchron strings, as well as this incredibly uh, vast percussion library. They have a really awesome collection of rare percussion instruments over in Vienna. Um, and again, all of these are recorded in that beautiful, rich space that I discussed earlier. So again, it's kind of just building your template with these sounds that kind of create this all encompassing um, sort of uh, sonic blanket for you, which we find as composers, mostly staring at screens in dark rooms, um, to be the most inspiring part of the mock-up process. And then when we carry it through, and actually record with the live musicians in Vienna, we kind of feel more prepared in that sense. And we know what to expect. We know what the colors that are gonna come out of the orchestra are. And it's a really, really um, completely indispensable, useful tool for us as composers.